everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is a couple of Pokemon. And um, here today I will be reviewing the Pokemon trading card game deck Sun and Moon, from Sun and Moon Guardians Rising Hidden Moon. Now as you can see, um, Lunala is the... Um, is a mascot of, of this deck. Um, James has sold Galio, but he will be doing that um, another, in another video. Um, so he's not here with us today because he has work and I do too. So um, we're, again, we're recording um, separately from each, uh, from each other's houses, but um, hopefully in a video or two more, um, we'll be able to record together again. But this is just for um, these two videos, just because we're so busy right now. We have a lot to film. Okay, so with that, I'm going to go ahead and break into this deck. Um, I don't want to keep this video super long, so um, I'm just going to keep it just nice and simple, but I do want to show off like all the cards and show everything that this deck has to offer. So, if you guys don't know, we do have a summer giveaway going on right now, the Guardians Rising giveaway. Um, I will be putting the link to the video to participate in the description below. So, if you're very interested in participating, just follow that link um, and make sure to subscribe to our channel. And... Um, and you will be entered into the giveaway. Um, the winners will be announced at the end of this month. So, um, so just stay tuned for that. And with that, I am now going to review the deck. Um, here is the coin, the flip coin that comes with it. Um, this is Lunala. And then, of course, on the back, the Pokemon, and the Pokemon logo. But, oh my goodness, that is such a pretty coin. I love it. And then, last but not least, and then, well, not last but not least, but, um, of course, we cannot forget the Lunala Hollow that comes with the deck. Um, this card's also available in non hollow form, but I believe the hollow form only comes with the deck. So, pretty legit looking. I, I love Lunala. And here's a code card that will be going towards the giveaway. Um, I think this is a mat. No. Oh, it's the instructions. Or... No, it's just the cards that are available for Guardians Rising. Um, I don't want to go through all of it too much, but it's just plain and simple. It's just talking about the Guardians Rising expansion. Um, okay, so here are the here's for part of the game. Um, okay, now I believe this is a map. Let me be careful opening this because last time that I had a map and opened it up, I ripped it open. <laughs> ah, ah, eh. Oh god. Oh, I got it open that time. Uh, it's kind of hard to see on the phone recording, but as you can see, this is basically a play mat. There's Lunal on that side, and then there's Solgaleo on that side. Let me get a good look at Solgaleo. And there he is. <laughs> Alright. You guys know what the play mat looks like. I don't, I don't really want to get into it. Knocked over the little figurine in the back. Um, okay, so here is the deck. Let's bust this bad boy open. Oh, here's the back of that deck. Lunala is so epic looking. I swear. I love Lunala. He is like such a cool legendary. Oh, yes. Um, do, 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 do. Here's some psychic energies. These were facing towards the back. Um, put that to the side. Uh, where did I put the box? So, it does come with eight um, fire energies and 12 psychic energies, so I don't really want to get into those. Because um, we all know that the deck will come with some energy cards, but um, I'll set them to the side. Of course, we'll get energy. Um, okay. I'm trying, you know what? I don't know what, the, I don't know, James told me he wanted me to record this in a certain way, but I'm so confused. He told me to, like, set aside all the energy cards and whatnot, but you know what? I'm not going to set them aside. I'll just go through them, because he confused me how he wanted me done. So, this is a deck, and I'm going to go through it real quickly. Um, so, starting off, we have Cosmone, the evolution of Nebby, Fire-type energy, Energy Lotto, How, Salandit, there's a psychic type energy. Oh, I did forget to tell you guys um, that this is a psychic and fire type um, deck. So you'll be seeing a lot of psychic and fire type Pokemon. Um, and here's Oracorio. Um, that is such a cool Pokemon. I think like I love how it has like different variations of dance, like of like dances um, for like in different types for like each um, kind of dance that it, that it is. Stuffle. Litwick, Fire-type Energy, Timer Ball, 
Energy Retrieval, another psychic type energy. Gothita. Let me move my let me move my deck up a bit so you guys can see the cards better. Nebby. <laughs> Nest Ball. Fire type energy. Beware. Gotharita. Psychic type energy. Professor Kukui. Potion. Switch. Fire type energy. Altar of the Moon. Psychic type energy. How? Fire type energy. Stuffle. Gotharita. Mimikyu. I love Mimikyu. Seriously, one of the coolest Pokemon from this generation. Just had to had to fit into the deck. I'm glad that glad that Mimikyu was included. Psychic type energy. Timer ball. Beware. Oops. Skipped a card. Fire type energy. Salandit. Nebby. And then of course um, the non hollow Lunala card. And psychic type energy. Nest ball. Cosmoem, Litwick, Fire Type Energy, Lampet, sorry guys, Salazzle, Psychic Type Energy, Professor Kukui, Stuffle, Gothita, and Fire Type Energy, sorry guys, my arm's hurting. <laughs> Switch, How, Rescue Stretcher, Nebby. Psychic type energy, psychic type energy. I think this is all psychic type energies. Yeah. Okay. So basically, that's the deck. Um, I do want to review um, some of the cards. Um, Lunala. Let's look at this. Let's look at this card. So the HP 160 Shatter Shot. This attack does 40 damage times the amount of psychic type energy attached to this Pokemon. So that's a pretty cool move. So however many psychic type energies you have attached to Lunala, you times that by 40. So that's pretty. That's a pretty good move. Um, Wings of the Moon looks pretty powerful. Um, move all energy from this Pokemon to your bench Pokemon in any way you like. Okay, a pretty powerful move. I I think that's pretty cool. You know, Lunala is such a cool legendary Pokemon, and and um for and for him to have his own deck, like it's just awesome. Like I like I really love this card. Like look at that, it's so shiny. Um, let me see if there's like another card I really want to go over. Um, not really. I don't really want to go over like too much because pretty much some of these are like Sun and Moon cards, but um, or like we've seen from Sun and Moon, but. And one of my favorite cards from this deck I really like, um, I like Beware. This is a really cool included um, Pokemon in the deck. Um, its ability is Rake It In. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve, um, from your hand to evolve, um, one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may draw three cards. Um, that's pretty cool. And then Dangerous Blow, um, 60 plus damage. So if your opponent's active Pokemon is a basic Pokemon, this attack does 60 more damage. So basically, if you're fighting a first stage um, Pokemon again, and like, and you're going, and that Pokemon's going against this Beware, um, this attack will do 60 more damage if you go fight it. So basically, that Pokemon's done for. <laughs> um, oops, my bad, I dropped it. Um, what's another cool call card? Where's Sal Salazzle? I think she's pretty cool. Um, I I like Salazzle. It's just it's just crazy how like so many people in the Sun and Moon games like they they get a male Salandit and then they're like wondering why it doesn't evolve and then then you realize like farther into the game that it won't evolve because it's a male. You only can evolve females. Um, I didn't have this issue thankfully because I already had a Fire type Pokemon on my team. I had um, Incineroar. Um, for my starter, or for my starter Pokemon, or I picked Lit uh, Evolved and Incineroar, um, so I didn't have Salazzle on my team, but it's a pretty cool looking Pokemon. So the ability is Hot Poison. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may leave your opponent's acti active Pokemon burned or poison and poison. Oh, burned and poison, not burned or poison, burned and poison. So you're leaving like status effects on that, on your um on the opponent's active Pokemon, so that's pretty cool. That's pretty helpful in the TCG if you think about it. And then, of course, gotta go with the classic flamethrower. Good old move. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I don't want to go over too much. Um, I want to keep the video um, short and simple. But that's pretty much the rundown of the deck. So, if you, if you really like playing the Pokemon trading card game, need a really good deck... 
Um, I like this deck because it's Psychic and Fire, probably two of the coolest types in the Pokemon game ever. So I definitely recommend this deck. And, and of course, Lunala is just an awesome Pokemon in its own right. So, um, um, so James will be reviewing or going over the Solgaleo deck in another video. So I don't know when he's going to upload that. Hopefully sometime soon, but we'll see. Anyways, guys, um, thank you for watching. We'll have more to bring to, um, to our channel, so stay tuned. Um, like, comment, subscribe, and follow um, our Instagram, our Facebook page, and our Twitter page because we're always putting... I need to update our Twitter page more, but we're always I'm always posting on Facebook and Instagram. Um, but I'll try to stay on top of our Twitter page. Um, and then, of course, if you're interested in participating in our summer giveaway, the link will be um, to um, the video below in order to participate. I mean, the link will be, yeah, under the video, in the description. I cannot word today, guys. Sorry, I had a long day at work. I've been up since 4 in the morning. So, anyway, anyways, guys, thank you for watching, and have a good night. Bye.